speaking to you ahead of Swansea visiting the Stoke Kairas on Sunday. You've had some exciting clashes against Swansea so far this season, but just how much you're looking forward to this one. Yeah, it's a fantastic opportunity again to play at the Stoke Kairas Stadium. You know, we're really excited and really thankful for the club for putting on the, the hard work behind the scenes to to get this fixture possible to be played at the at the stadium. So relishing it, you know, really looking forward to it and, you know, hoping that it's going to be another entertaining game against Swansea because they've been really close in our previous clashes, but we're hoping that uh, it'll go in our favour this time. As you just alluded to there, you've had some really close matches against Swansea, whether that be at home or away. Just how much of an opportunity is this on Sunday to get that win over the line or to get a good result against Swansea with the backing of that home crowd as well? Yeah, I think it's huge, really. Um, obviously, we, we witnessed it at the Rock. Uh, in the opening fixture, the crowd, you know, played a massive part in in us getting the in uh, the point. You know, maybe could have got more out of that game, but you know, even when we played at the Swansea.com Stadium, we had a good following um, at the stadium there too. So you know, it does inspire the girls and you know looks to spur them on in the moment to sort of put a positive performance in and, and hopefully get the right result. Uh, playing here, obviously adds a little bit more pressure and a little bit more meaning that you know you you don't want to be beaten in your home stadium um, in your own back garden so really important that the girls sort of manage the game uh, rather than the occasion and you know I think if we can perform the way we have done against Swansea especially a couple of weeks ago then we'd be in a good position to get a positive result. Looking back on last Sunday whilst it may not have been the result that you would have wanted how's the mood been in camp this week and has focus quickly turned to Sunday's game given the occasion and given what's riding on it? Yeah, massively. I think we were all disappointed with the scoreline. Um, you know, we know that Cardiff are a good team. Punished us, you know, um, and at this level, if you if you give them opportunities to punish you, they're going to be ruthless and take them. But there was a, a large period of that game where you know we were more than in the game, and you know we we could have probably gone into the get into the break, you know, in front or at least level. And um, so the, you know, there's a lot of positives that we can take out of it. You know, it's quick that we address what we need to address in the week for training to prepare for this game, but. You know, we've got to put that result behind us now um, and we've got to focus fully on, on Swansea. Another good team, if you give them opportunities, you know, they're, they're more than capable of punishing you. So, yeah, it was important to sort of dust ourselves down and, you know, kick on really. You know, the girls came into training last night, you know, in a good mood, um, you know, worked really hard in training last night and we're hoping that they're going to continue to do the same on Thursday um, to work on the game plan and then, on Sunday, it's it's about taking care and putting things right, and you're know, looking to bounce back with a positive performance and result. Sunday won't be the first time that you've led this team out at the Stoke Kairas. Reflecting back on that match against Collins Key almost this time last year, what are your memories of it, and what are your recollections of that day? Yeah, it was a, a fantastic achievement, really, and obviously the breaking the record in terms of attendances was was phenomenal. Um, just the whole day, you know, I wish you could go back and relive the whole day again. You know, it was a fantastic achievement and, you know, the experience of, of leading the team out in front of nine and a half thousand people was something that's going to stick with me for a long time. Um, the game goes really quick, so, you know, you've got to try and enjoy it while you're here. Um, so it's important that the girls sort of settle down as quick as they can. Um, the end of the day, yes, it's a fantastic venue and a, a great honour to play here. But at the end of the day, it's a game of football and, and we've got a job to do. And, you know, the main important thing is getting the performance right and obviously getting the results. So we've got to make sure that we, we are focused. Um, you know, we don't want to get distracted with, with a big crowd again. And it's really important that we, we hone in on making sure that we get the result. But, you know, it was a fantastic opportunity that day and, you know, we're relishing it again. So looking forward to it. And tickets are still available for Sunday's clash. You've spoken about the importance of the supporters before, especially in reference to the game against Swansea City on the opening day at The Rock. Just how important is it that A, as many fans come down as possible, but B, how much of an impact do they have on your team? It's massive for the girls, you know, they, they, they live for it, you know, they buzz off. Uh, they buzz off the crowd's reaction, you know, when they start to create a bit of an atmosphere. So, you know, the more that we can get in, obviously plays in our favour. Um, you know, it can be an intimidated place at the time when, when the crowd do get up, um, you know, for the opposition teams. And we've seen that 
um, you know, from past experiences, Swansea, Cardiff early on in the season. I don't think they would have expected to have played in front of a, a crowd as big as what they had. Um, so, you know, it's really important that, you know, the, the crowd get behind us, but it's our job as well to, to get them off their seats and, and, you know, create that environment and that atmosphere for them. So we've got to do it on the pitch, but, you know, it's massive that they, they continue to support us off the pitch because, you know, rightly so, we've had a really good season, um, you know, and the support that we do get, we're really grateful for. But you know, to to have to have them here at the Stock Car Ras is, you know, it's another level. Um, you know, and, and we're hoping to create another atmosphere similar like we did at Connors Key, where it's really positive, and you know, they get right behind the girls because you know it does give them that extra ten percent. And we're hoping that you know we'll get another good crowd again. So you know, vouch for everyone to go out and get your tickets, and you know give one last big push to, to, you know, get the attendance nice and high. And, you know, we're, we're looking to sort of reward those fans with a good performance and three points at the end of the day. And as you've just said there, while the occasion is clearly going to be an amazing spectacle for women's football and promoting the women's game, how important is it that as soon as your players get onto the grass, that they're fully focused and that the main priority is getting three points? Yeah, it's huge. You know, we're... We've had a really good season up to date, you know, nine times out of ten we were getting the right results, you know, leading up to qualifying to the top four, um, you know, so we've we're not really been in this position much where, you know, we found it difficult and, you know, we've been on the end of the, the wrong results, so it's important that we, you know, continue to get as many points on the board um, as possible to finish the season strong, obviously that'll then take us uh, into the momentum of the cup final so it's important that we get used to winning again and feeling good about ourselves um, especially after last weekend you know that's really important that we we bounce back from that because you know it was it wasn't a nice experience the girls didn't enjoy it themselves so vital that we you know we focus on getting the job done on on Sunday and you know having the fans behind us you know that'll be really important but yeah the girls know that obviously it's a great experience and a venue to play in but the main, the main thing is, is three points at this stage of the season to sort of cut that gap between ourselves and Swansea and you know, give ourselves a good chance of trying to finish in second position this season.